What's going on guys? So I sold my entire eBay store. I know what you're probably thinking, this is a joke, right? Because a few weeks ago uh, for April Fools, I made an April Fools video with my brother-in-law Brennan. We went inside a mall and uh, we're acting like we were just gonna rent the whole place. But that was just an April Fools joke, having a little bit of fun. Uh, this is not an April Fools joke, this is real. So it sounds a little crazy to sell my whole eBay store, but the stars just kind of aligned with this. Uh, the timing was really good, so I went ahead and did it. My buddy Jamie is also a reseller and he's a little low on inventory at the moment. And he and I were just kind of talking back and forth like, well, maybe you could, you know, buy some of my stuff. And it, the more we talked, it just made sense for him to just buy the whole eBay store. So I shot him an offer of 1500 bucks and he said yes. 1500 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but I actually run a really lean eBay store. Uh, typically, I would have anywhere between like three to 400 active items and around 800 to 1,000 items sold in 90 days. When I made the sale to him, I had 388 active items and 97 of those active items were yearbooks, which brings the active items that weren't yearbooks to 291 items. So if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I love yearbooks. I just think they're really cool. It's like going back in time, just seeing different things. I like hunting for famous alumni. For example, I found a, um, old University of Cincinnati yearbook from the 50s that had Sandy Koufax in it, famous pitcher for the Dodgers because he went to UC for one year. And I flipped that for a hundred bucks. But generally speaking, yearbooks are not a great buy because they take a long time to sell. It's a very, you know, small market you're selling to somebody that went to that school. I just have a soft spot for them. So I tend to buy a lot of them. So I like to take those out of the equation of how many active items I have because I don't think it's a fair comparison of like, you know, what I'm going to be selling, Jamie, because I, you know, cost per item and all that stuff. I wanted to take the yearbooks out of it. So 291 active items is not a ton. Uh, like I said, I run a really lean store. When I list things, they typically sell in a month, sometimes two months. So a lot of the things that I have right now, I've kind of been sitting through the winter a little bit and they just haven't been moving. So I thought it was a great time to just kind of get rid of stuff. Every single year, uh, right around like February, March, right before garage sale season hits, I purge my eBay inventory. So what I always do is I go through, look at anything that hasn't sold and like, you know, it's been sitting for six months, a year, something like that. I'll drop the price or if I've already dropped the price and it's gone down so low and I haven't had any bites and none of the offers I sent out were accepted. Sometimes I'll just take the thing off of eBay and go donate it because I don't want a lot of dead stock sitting around, you know, taking up space when I know there's a lot of new stuff going to be coming in. The weather's starting to warm up in Cincinnati, so garage sales are going to be fast and furious really, really soon. Probably two, three weeks, there's going to be more garage sales than I could even hit in a day. So the thought of cleaning out old stuff and making space for new stuff is really appealing to me. And on top of that, I've actually got four to five really big buys lined up. Funko Pops, action figures, video games, sports cards. I got a lot of buys lined up. So I love the idea of kind of starting with a blank slate and making room for all that new stuff coming in. All right, guys, everything is gone and it looks pretty weird in here. I'm not going to lie. Feels good to have a clean slate and build this back up. A lot of the stuff that I had in my store, had it was kind of stale inventory. And so I'm glad to see it go. And I'm really excited to start buying some new stuff. I've got a big uh, collection of Barbie dolls I'm buying Friday. I've got a couple collections of Funko Pops I'm buying in the next week. And garage sales are starting up. I'm going to be going to garage sales in the next couple days. So... I will bring you guys along for the journey of rebuilding my eBay store and focusing even more on a higher average sale price. Um, I had my average sale price around 50 bucks and I'd love to get that of like 60 or $70. The idea is to work smarter and not harder. So I'll definitely be trying to do that. One last thing I will say before I end this video, um, for a lot of eBay sellers that I talk to, you know, they buy things and they just kind of fall in love with their inventory. So my advice is, 
don't be married to your inventory. Uh, you buy something, flip it, make your money and invest that into the next buy and kind of keep that going. If you're a reseller like me and you're finding stuff one-offs, you know, at garage sales and doing buys and everything like that, your business is not your inventory. Your business is your ability to find things and to flip them for a profit. So as long as you don't lose that, you don't lose your business. So it might be a little bit scary and crazy that I sold off my eBay inventory, but I just think it was a smart move for the time of year and where I'm at currently in my business. So I'm really excited to see where it goes. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.